ladies and gentlemen, you know, Trump is really angry with China for everything that has happened, especially the economy tanking because of coronavirus. And he's not alone. There are a lot of nations around the world that are angry about the job loss and losing their economy to this pandemic. And they are struggling just like everyone else. And I know America is with 36.5 million people that have filed jobless claims in an eight week period. Man, that's pretty bad. So he's so angry. He's talking about cutting off the entire relationship that the U.S. has with China. Now, I don't believe this because U.S. is so dependent on China for everything now. I just don't see how it's possible for him to really cut them completely off. And that would require them doing a lot of the work here in the country. So you got all your corporations there. You're getting all these exports coming into the country from China. I, how do you cut them off now? When you've been getting all kinds of goods and everything from them for decades. Well, this came out on Newsweek, May 14th, 2020. Trump threatened to cut off the whole relationship with China, says U.S. would save $5 billion. President Donald Trump suggested on Thursday that the U.S. could cut off the whole relationship with China, claiming that doing so would save the country $5 billion. There are many things we could do, Trump told Fox Business hosts um, on Thursday morning. We could cut off the whole relationship. The U.S. and many other countries have become increasingly critical of China. And, you know, we know about the ongoing novel coronavirus pandemic, which first arose in the China city of Wuhan. China has been accused of covering up the extent of the outbreak. Yeah, and they're now trying to hide their second wave. And failing to be transparent about the seriousness of the virus. China has attempted to dismiss these criticisms and claim that the Trump administration is trying to deflect criticism of its own response to the crisis. Well, China really don't have room to talk at all because we can never forget how they tried to transfer the blame for coronavirus onto the Africans that are living there. The president suggested on Thursday that cutting ties with China would save the U.S. money. Now, if you did, what would happen, he asked. You'd save $5 billion if you cut off the whole relationship. Newsweek reached out to the White House as well as the Chinese embassy in Washington, D.C., for further comment. Prior to the novel coronavirus pandemic, Trump had been long critical of China, even before entering the White House. The president has repeatedly raised concerns about the trade deficit between the two nations, as the U.S., historically has imported significantly more from the Asian nation than it has exported to the country. This spurred Trump to add tariffs to hundreds of billions of Chinese goods during the mid-2018 year, which led China to respond in kind. And they're talking about the trade war. 
the situation escalated into a trade war that analysts have estimated cost the U.S. hundreds of thousands of jobs and forced American importers to shell out billions more than they would have to pay tariffs. But that situation appeared to be resolving in mid-January with the signing of a new phase one trade agreement. Now, as the U.S. has become the nation in the world with the highest number of confirmed cases of coronavirus, as well as the highest number of deaths, the Trump administration has faced criticism at home for its handling of the crisis. The president largely dismissed the seriousness of the virus through February, even suggesting that it would simply disappear. Supporters of the president argued that he acted quickly by implementing travel restrictions on foreigners who had visited China. Yeah, well, that didn't do any good because it still spread in the country. China has faced significant international criticism of its handling of the virus, particularly due to the fact that Chinese officials initially covered up the outbreak, even detaining doctors who raised alarms about the growing outbreak in Wuhan. Newsweek also reported on Tuesday that the CIA report has, accept, has assessed that China's threatened the World Health Organization in January, urging it not to declare a global health emergency. Uh-huh. Some people in the U.S. failed to fight the epidemic themselves and failed the trust of the American people, but they have not made reflections of how to improve their work. Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesman Zhao Lijia said on Thursday, the Hong Kong-based South China Morning Post reported. So he's trying to shift the blame back on the U.S. We urge the U.S. to stop slandering and discrediting China, stop promoting relevant bills and playing this nonsense blame game on whether China has any disciplinary measures. I have no further comment. Wow. He's not taken any responsibility. And that's part of the problem right there. That's why a lot of nations around the world are angry. If you notice, China is trying not to take responsibility and they're deflecting. They have not offered to help many of the nations that are struggling with this pandemic because of them. And of course, they're still being very sensitive if anybody calls it the Chinese virus or China virus or Wuhan virus, they get all upset. And I guess they get on the phone and call the hotline to report people. But many folks in this land have suffered from this thing directly and indirectly. A lot of people have lost their friends, their relatives, and now we got children getting sick. So it's had a, a major blow, especially on the U.S. economy. And even the economists are saying, even if America got up and running, if they reopened the entire country, it would take anywhere from two to five years for them to catch up to where they were in February 2020 before everything had to close. But y'all, please tell me what you think. Do you think Trump is right? I hear where he's coming from, but I just don't see how you could just abruptly cut these people off. You would have to make a lot of changes and bring many of the businesses back home before that's even a possibility. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.